we like trains, we, we love riding the trains. When it comes to Larry Jenkins' passion for trains, it runs in the family, probably on rails. My father worked for the railroad for 45 years, and then I worked on the railroad for a couple years. My brother Joe and my sister Dana also worked on the railroad for a couple years. The rail's in my blood, it really is. And Friday, Jenkins was at Richmond's Main Street Station to hear the latest about rail travel at Amtrak's Board of Directors meeting. Among the presentations, plans from the Virginia Passenger Rail Authority to expand passenger rail service in the Commonwealth as they say demand is at an all-time high. What that shows us is that if we put the trains out there, people are going to take them. While Amtrak is contracted to operate the trains, Executive Director DJ Stadler says VPRA is creating the dedicated track space for them by buying up right-of-way and building strategic infrastructure and more tracks. The biggest challenge for passenger rail in America is the mixing of freight railroads that go about 35 miles an hour and passenger trains that want to go much faster than that. Stadler says a $4 billion project is underway to make those improvements between Richmond and Washington, D.C., including a major major one to build a second train bridge just for passenger travel across the Potomac River. I mean, at the end of the day, the long bridge crossing from Virginia into D.C. is the bottleneck for all rail traffic, freight and passenger from the north to the south. And Stadler says along with infrastructure, they plan to add more service, including to the east and west. We're partnering with our fellow states to increase capacity, improve capacity, and get more trains out there. As for North-South, Stadler says they're looking to restore an old route to Raleigh that would cut travel time by an hour. And for trips from Richmond to D.C., the aim is for hourly service by 2030 and increased reliability. We don't want you to plan on being here at 9.05 and not showing up till 9.45. I like it because you just sit back and relax and let them do the work for you. For Jenkins, originally from Alexandria and considering a train trip back for a visit, it's welcome news as it's easily better than having to drive on 95. Especially on a Friday afternoon like today. As mentioned, VPRA's current projects carry a $4 billion price tag. Stadler says there's about a $700 million funding gap they're looking to fill, but have applied for a federal grant to do that and are expecting to hear an answer by the end of the year. At Richmond's Main Street Station, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.